it's a new video i'm back i'm back um before i sit down with you guys and and uh talk to you guys about why i was gone i took a little bit of a week break how are you guys how you doing yes um i took a little bit of a week break and um i just need some time to myself but i am back now and i will talk to you guys in a little bit but i kind of figured that you might want to you might want a little bit of a grocery haul, right? Right? I mean, right? Um, it's not really a grocery haul. It's things that are short of and I wanted to pick up. So I, I didn't go out planning to do a grocery, but certain things like meats and all of that I had to pick up. Okay? Um, things first, water. Water. Um, I haven't picked up this uh, bottled, plastic bottled water in a while but I, I i felt like it today okay because I, I find myself sitting outside a lot and it is what it is and then from uh woolies here we go not so much just this bag from woolies we've got sparkling water which i do enjoy a good sparkling water with gin i'll show you how i prepare all of that i'm pretty sure if you've been on this channel long enough you would know this um also another thing that i had to go pick up is elderflower syrup i was out i ran out of it last night when i was having a glass of gin and i was just like but what's your point what's your life what's your plan so i had to pick up some elderflower syrup and listen if I'm gonna put you on anything, it is this. These are the indulgent popcorn from Woolies. One has got uh, popcorn with peanut caramel drizzle. This one is my favorite one. This one is my favorite one. And then this one is the popcorn with a sweet coconut drizzle. Both also very, so good. I had to pick them up, I had to pick them up. Um, also picked up some salads because I do not plan on cooking today. I might just put something in the oven, make something easy, fresh in the oven. Um, so yeah, I picked up some salads, got the beetroot one and the smoky four bean salad. I love the salad and I haven't had it. I love the salad. I love it so much and I haven't had it in quite a while. And another one I haven't had in quite a while is the Bultong pasta salad. That's what this one looks like, like that. It's upside down, is it? I don't know. But also, I don't know what's going on with the with the sun and the clouds and everything. But also very, very, very good. Very good. A Greek salad because even though I can make one, I'm lazy. So that's the reasoning behind that. Um, next up is from Pick and Pay. Now, I'm not going to... And I got meat is not for everybody, so I'm not going to show all of you guys what kind of meat I bought. But I was pretty much picking up meat from Pick and Pay. And you guys know how I... What has happened? What's going on? And the sky is just blue outside. I don't know what's going on. But uh, you guys know how I package my meat, so I'm not going to show you any of that. I just went into Pick and Pay to pick up... <laughs> got ghosts in this house. I just went into Pick and Pay to pick up a whole bunch of meat, and they had a they had a two for forty rand special on these. These are the cauliflower and broccoli and carrot set, as well as the roasted vegetables. I got these, both of these, for forty bucks. So it was a quite a nice special, and I tend to be lazy. Um, I, I pretty much, now that my oven works, I throw everything in my oven and I tend to be lazy to cook on the stove and all of that. So I just take these, they're easy, they're prepared, you just throw them in your oven pan thing and then you go, you go with it. Um, yeah, so I picked up those and some green beans, more of the broccoli stuff because uh, tomorrow is Sunday so I am going to be cooking more meat. Hold Strawberries, kiwis, cucumber, grapes, potatoes. These are really, really great uh, because these are great for the oven. Pick those up again on the special as well. And some baby spinach. I'm out of baby spinach and I really do want to make a green smoothie now before I start eating all sorts of things <laughs> for the rest of the day um so yeah then, oh actually i can't i bought myself a burrow roll 
If you're South African, you know. You know. Burvos rolls are our thing. And then, of course, I was in the mood for flowers. Ah! So I got myself some sunflowers from um, Mick, and, Mick and Pay. Pick and Pay. <laughs> and, of course, I'm going to put those in water. And, yeah, let me pack all of this up and let's get on with it. Okay? Let's get on with it. Oh, and my plants are growing. I almost broke it. I almost broke it. Um, uh, the fruits are all up here with the yogurt, blah, blah, blah. I still have to empty them out into the glass containers. I just got them, so I just put them here. But I'm going to do that now. And yeah, there's a nice beer there. There's some wine there. But I really feel like having gin there. Okay. Um, so there's a good melon there. That's still really, really good. So yeah, need to cut that one up into little small pieces or chunks. And then put it in a glass container. Okay. is really really good um this is how i enjoy my gin with a lot of lemon i want to taste the lemon i'm not those people that have oh gin tea with just like a slice of lemon or two slices nah i i want at least four slices of lemon so good well four half slices get me yeah so two slices mm. oh yeah that's good oh that's good refreshing not too many calories going on here because everything is water, mostly. And then the sweetness just comes from the elderflower syrup, the sugar. Aside from that, it's all good in the hood up in here. So I got myself a Borovos roll. If you're South African, you know what this is about. Uh, it's like a hot dog on steroids. <laughs> mm hmm Hmm. Oh. Mm. So, this is my first meal of the day, and it is uh, 2 o'clock, so that's that on that. Well, mm. So, I decided to take a bit of a week off of uh, YouTube. I just didn't want to record. I didn't feel like recording. I needed a break. I mean, people take breaks every now and again. I haven't taken a break in, I don't know how long. So, I woke up one day and I was just like, mm, I don't wanna do this. 
I don't want to do this. And I told myself that just, just stop. Just stop. It's okay. I owe myself a break. And that's what I did. I owe myself a break and that's exactly what I did. So it's been wonderful. Now this is the first time that I'm recording in um, well over a week because the content that you saw on my channel was recorded obviously before uh, last week. So been breaking, been breaking. Yeah. While I'm here, I didn't finish off the um, questions. Come on now. Work with me. I didn't finish off the friendship questions from uh, my YouTube community tab. So that's what we're going to do right now. While I eat. While I'm What's your take on friendship breakups? Uh, this is from um, Udirili. What is your take on fr friendship breakups? How does one deal with it? And uh, also, how does it affect us? I mean... Personally, I feel friendship breakups are worse than breakup breakups. Um, because you've let that person so much into your space, into your heart, into your life, into your private space as well, that um, they know so much about you. Even in most cases, so much more than your own significant other knows about you. So it's major. A friendship breakup uh, for me is normally harder than a real breakup breakup. I don't even want to lie. See what's happening outside? You know, how to deal with it. I feel like it's, 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 with things like this, it's always time and distance and giving each other that space. Um, if it's something that really can't be fixed and it's time to move on, then you move on. Um, it's hard, but you always have uh, people around you, whether it be your family or your other friends that are there to just uh, fill in that void. Because a lot of the time with friendship breakups, for me personally, it gets really lonely, really, really lonely to such a point where, I mean, you're so used to calling this person every single day. You, you speak, well, for me, with my very good friends, I speak to them every single day. So not being able to call that number um, and, and call it, you know, whenever, whether you're sober, drunk, uh, when you're in trouble and you need some help and all of that, not being able to call that person is really, really difficult. So I feel like leaning on friends, on family, on whoever else that can just ease the burden and make it a little bit lighter is always a good idea. Um, but you kind of have to go through it to get over it. Uh, so you have to go through the pain. You have to allow yourself to feel all the pain. This is especially if it's something that can't be fixed. If it can be fixed, I feel like um, speaking to your friend is, is very important. Um, you know, speaking your mind and, and yourself into their space and into their heart and, and, and um, getting their point of view on the situation or whatever caused the friendship breakup is very important as well. Uh, it isn't all about you. That's not how friendships work. And, but if it doesn't work, I feel like it's, you, you go through it, you go through it to get over it. You have to take some time, uh, lean on the other people in your life that you are close to so that you can move forward with the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the only thing. Mm, mm, cool. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's an onion. Mm hmm Okay. A thick one. Ooh, have you ever done something to make a friend cut you off? And how did you comfort yourself? I haven't. Um, I really haven't done anything to make a friend of mine cut me off. It's never happened. Uh, it's either we both take some space from each other. If we're upset with one another, we take some space. But for me to do something in particular to make her break, to, her, to make her cut me off, um, no. I don't think I've ever done it. And if I had... I'd probably spend a lot of my time trying to ask for forgiveness or trying to talk to them or, you know, and if, if they're done with me, then they're done with me. That's the decision that they've decided to take. That's the journey of life that we are walking, um, her and I, separately. And that's that on that. There's really nothing more I can do with regards to that, you know? 
Are you always um, there for each other through thick and thin or do friends disappear the minute things go wrong in your life? Like for instance, you become broke. No. No. <laughs> mm -mm, no. Listen, if your friends disappear from your life, <clears throat> because you've lost a job or because you've become broke, they're not true friends. They're really not true friends. I think I said this in my last vlog where I said, your real friends are not going to care whether you've lost your job, lost a family member, lost or whatever. More than anything, it's a motivating factor for me. To, to, that brings me closer to my friend because I know that she's going through a tough time. So for me to let her go in her most difficult time just doesn't make any sense to me. And if your friend is going to up and switch up on you because you've now lost your job or now you're broke or whatever, then they weren't legit. Instead, my friends, we help each other find one another jobs or we help each other find one another, you know, new opportunities or whatever. We talk about, you know, how we can find ways to hustle so that she can make some money. Uh, we help each other out if she's broke and she can't buy uh, food for the house or whatever we help one another out so if your friend is gonna um up and switch on you just because then they're not a true friend then they were there for your money if they're switching on you because you're now broke what the fuck what the what the fuck he they were obviously there for your money or there for something else that could help them financially benefit of the whole thing. So for me in particular, no, none of my friends, we don't, we don't walk away from one another when the other is going through a tough time. Instead, that's when we bind together and um, we figure out how we're going to help our mate. Mm, it's really good. Okay. Next. Mm. What's your ultimate deal breaker in your friendship? Something that you find absolutely unforgivable. Um, if my friend, mm, something I find absolutely unforgivable, if she betrays me, if she talks about things that I told her in confidence, things that I shared with her about my family, or I shared with her about my life, or my partner, or whatever, if, I, if she betrays that by sharing it to somebody who's not a friend of mine, by sharing it with somebody I don't care a damn about or by putting it somewhere where it becomes access public knowledge, that's it, that's it. Um, if she tries to make a move on my partner, of course, now at this point, I need to understand both sides of the story and whatever. And if there's proof that she did that, whatever, I cut them both off. Of course, my partner's gonna go, definitely. I don't care whether you entertained it or you didn't entertain it because we know it. We know. We know at the end of the day that you're going to try it. You're going to try it. So, no. Uh, rather cut them both off. Um, I don't want that kind of energy in my space. I don't want that kind of riffraff in my space. Uh, over the last week when I was taking some time off, I had really bad energy in my space. I had really bad riffraff bullshit in my space. And I didn't like it. And it made me unsettled. And, um, you know, somebody was, was out here trying to attack my character and all of that. And I was just like, bitch, bye. But I was really unsettled. So for me, I don't like having people around me that are going to unsettle my spirit. It's not for me. So if you're going to if you're gonna do that, bye, bye. Take a sip. How do you feel about friends buying... Or wearing matching outfits. Why? Rama twins. Why, why are we doing that? Matching outfits for what? I mean, we can buy them. I mean, there's a dress that Palisa has. And I saw it on her at first. <laughs> there's a dress that Palisa has. And I saw it on her first. And I liked it a lot. Because it was a black body con dress. And something that I didn't have. And I said to her, where'd you buy that dress? But she said, I got it at the fix and whatever, whatever. I typically don't shop at the fix, so I never would have seen the dress. And um, she told me she got it at the fix and whatever. And the following week, I picked up that dress. I saw it. I picked it up. I think, or oh, two weeks later. Saw it, picked it up, and I knew Palisa had it. But 
One thing that I won't do is ever wear the dress when Balesa is wearing it or deliberately try to wear it. No. I mean, we can buy matching outfits. It's fine. Whatever. You know, but as long as we ain't trying to look like twins, like five-year-old twins, because grown twins don't even do that. So as long as we're not trying to look like five-year-old twins, that's fine. That's fine. I, I don't see a problem with uh, putting your friend on in terms of an item of clothing that you think she'll like. I love bodycon dresses. Uh, I love body... Um, Dresses that hold my figure and hold my body because I've got a great fucking figure. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I love dresses that hold my figure. So when I saw her wearing that dress, I was like, I want that dress. And she told me, she's like, it's from the fix. I don't have a problem. It's fine. You know? Um, so this, this question goes on to say, I'm a widow and my friend is married. How do you feel about being friends with married women? Does it cause conflict with their partners now? Let me explain. It doesn't and it shouldn't cause, cause conflict. Um, I have married friends. I have a friend who is now a fiancé. A fiancé. <laughs> I have these kinds of friends and I'm single, right? What is my life? <laughs> it's fine. If I'm single, I've got the money. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. The point is I've got married friends. And um, I'm okay with it. I respect their boundaries. And I expect them to respect mine. It's, it, it, just because she's married doesn't necessarily mean that she's the only one with boundaries. At this point, we're in different parts and phases of our lives, different journeys of our lives. So what I'm not going to do is go and call my married friend at 9 or 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night unless it is a sincere emergency one of my married friends lives 10 minutes from me so if i'm in an emergency at 10 o'clock at night and i need to find somebody or phone somebody that's going to be here very quickly and whatever i'll call her but on a typical night where i just want to have a chat and i just want to be silly i'm not going to call her at nine o'clock at night i know she's with her family she's with her son she's with her husband i'm not going to disrespect her her union and her husband that's crazy and her son that's crazy that's ridiculous however if my friends are single and whatever i don't care like i can call my single friend at 11 o'clock at night one o'clock in the morning if she doesn't answer sure she's probably with her man friend or female friend that's fine um but if she doesn't so she does but if she's married it's a different set of rules at the same time um, uh, just because my married friend knows that I am single doesn't necessarily mean that she must, um, rock up whenever she feels like it or call me whenever she feels like it or get upset when she doesn't, she can't get hold of me or whatever. And I don't answer her phone calls as much as I'm going to afford her the same respect of, um, respecting the situation and the journey and the life that she's living at the moment. She must respect mine. It's the same thing. We're both grown. We're both adults. You're not going to phone me at a ridiculous hour i don't see why you should but if we're single friends to single friends to whatever i don't have a problem i mean if she doesn't answer it's fine maybe she's busy <laughs> do you forgive a friend who dates you who dates your guy who dates a guy that you dated back in high school on matric and she never tells you um I, I personally, I wouldn't make a big fuss of it. I really wouldn't. I don't care for things like that. If I dated this person in high school or matric, I really don't care. And it wasn't anything serious. I really don't care. But if I dated this person in varsity and we were together, wow, 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 Mr. Sun. If I dated this person in varsity and we were together for a couple of years or whatever, I would expect her to at least throw it out there like your cat. Uh, this person and this person, blah, blah, blah. But if it was a relationship that I was really, really close with that person and we were together for a long time, that would put me off because I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to understand why you are with an ex of mine that I was with for four years. I'm not trying to understand that. I'm not going to understand that. That's going to rub me off the wrong way forever and ever and ever. Amen. But Hey, hey, so it's a couple of days later. Uh, two things. If you hear something in the back, my machine is going, as you can see. Uh, my machine is going, so 
can't avoid those kinds of noises uh, but my SD card cut out the last time that I was standing right here and talking about friendships and all of that and then I had to I was busy for the next two days after that so it's, it's, it's two days later I'm so sorry about that but there's some things that I want to show you before I close off this vlog um, I'm gonna start another vlog tomorrow for next week this one you're probably going to see this week as it is tuesday today you're probably going to see this vlog on thursday or friday so um i picked up some things from westpac i wanted to show you what i did get but before i do i need to go to the loo hang on <laughs> hi hi i'm back um so i went into westpac the other day because i always go into westpac for pretty much everything um uh, but the other day i wanted to go and get um sort of dishes that you could put in the oven so aside from always cooking like oven cooking with the the pans you know the standard black pans i wanted to get something different i wanted to get something colorful so i went into uh westpac and i had to go find some dishes that could withstand the heat of an oven that kind of thing so i'm going to show that to you now and also i bought these containers so I'm going to show you everything. I bought these glass containers from Westpac. Not quite sure <laughs> what I'm going to use them for. My lips are quite dry. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use them for, but I am going to use them for something because I found them absolutely adorable. And glass is a thing now. So I got these um, glass containers from Westpac. How cute are these? I mean, you can use this for water, you know, um, because I'm somebody who doesn't keep fridge water, but I get a lot of friends who do come through. Not a lot. When my friends do come through, even though my fridge has a water dispenser in and of itself, but every time my friends do come through, they'll always be like, do you have fridge water? And I'll always say, no, I don't. So I bought two of these, which were, I think, a hundred and something a piece. But they look so nice that you could actually even have them out on the countertop. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them. But I love them. It's got the cork lid, which is nice. It sits on there quite firm as well. So I really, really loved these. And goes with the whole my kitchen kind of vibe. Um, the pièce de résistance are these ones which are white also go into the oven and this is the smallest one that's what they look like it whoops don't focus on me that's what it looks like these are gorgeous these are also from console so all of these are from console these are just much more um appealing as well i feel like when you're entertaining um and you've got a like a spread on the table like the table that i have over there i always sit on that table in some of my vlogs uh when you have a spread you can keep vegetables in here whatever and then keep them warm in the oven and then once people arrive you can just take it out like that and serve from them which i feel like is amazing and um so i got the smallest size which is the Mm, 220 millimeter size it's a two liter size and then i got the bigger size which is the 260 millimeter size they're absolutely gorgeous i love them i'm gonna have to wash them before i put them away so this fits quite nicely in here and then of course i got the biggest size uh and this absolutely beautiful so same family same thing all of them are from console which i feel what is going on in there straining out the water <laughs> which i feel they are just gorgeous i feel like they are amazing um i clean up here today is actually a clean up day um the um, utandi the oc who helps here at the house was doing my um uh, my American shutters she was doing my shutters like literally cleaning them in out in out and then I was also washing some of the blankets I'll actually show you I've got new plant babies which I am so with. but um, I still feel like I don't have enough 
now the plant total in my home is like 12 plants if I'm not mistaken because I got another one recently so it's about 12 plants in my home now and I just love looking and seeing plants just sprout up everywhere it's beautiful I'll show you the new babies um, and then my next assignment is to have to get planters for all these plants ah so that that'll happen in the next month or two but got new plants as well so it's a good time but today is actually cleaning day and in my um oops in my machine right now is the carpet that normally goes the, my machine is quite uh, big i think it's a five it's a seven it's a seven kg machine um so it's the carpet that goes on the floor right next to the um, dining area, right below the dining table and chairs. Um, excuse me. So that's going, fantastic. And then um, there were blankets that are sort of like, I suppose 85% dry, but because it's been raining for the past two days, I've literally spread them out. Let me show you guys, it's crazy. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, I have used the tables the chairs, the chairs from my dining table, I've used them to um, just hold up the blankets because it is raining outside, it's drizzling at the moment, um, but they are fairly dry, so they're not gonna change the color of the chairs or anything like that, they are fairly dry, um, probably overnight by tomorrow they should be fine. And um, the carpet that normally goes down here by the chairs and underneath the table, um, is the one that's in the machine right now and I'm gonna have to ask my cousin to come and help me remove it because wow my goodness my goodness um, so the new baby if we pan this way this is my new baby she's she's huge she's absolutely huge and she is beautiful this one is my love it's my love I haven't named her yet and then I wanted to show you started off so small it got burnt some time ago but it's it's coming okay it's looking a little bit better now it started off probably around this height here so we've got a little bit of growth there and um there's a new one that's coming out and sprouting on the side as well i'm absolutely falling in love this one um is the new ones, the two new ones at the top here. See how the new ones are very shiny? And then the older ones are a little bit dried out. They look kind of crazy. <laughs> but nevertheless, it is thriving in this corner here. I love it. I need to get planters for all my plants, pretty much. The last one is this one. That's her. And there's a box of Corona in the back there. <laughs> so if you watch my sit down videos, I'm normally sitting on this chair here. So this is new much smaller same family as the one i just showed you now and also haven't named her as well but it's cool it's all good um beautiful just gorgeous but this is like a bamboo they call it the bamboo um plant and nickname they call it the bamboo plant apparently these are getting sold out pretty much like everywhere they're even getting uh they're even struggling to get the plants in uh, from the suppliers because they're just pretty much getting sold out everywhere at some point a certain plant will trend and everybody will start getting it and then they'll sell out and that kind of thing so then with her i just wanted to show you her um, um she is growing a new leaf this is her oh my god it's so it's so so beautiful i'm so excited so this is the plant food um yeah so this is the plant food that i was talking about this is the uh caltera multi-sol in foliage i don't know but basically you add this to water to when on the days that you're gonna add water to your little water jug and all of that to add to your plants you do this like once every six seven days and the instructions are there at the back but yeah it's really really good at um helping your plants thrive and then the last one last one which is also growing babies is that one oh, they're thriving i absolutely love it they're thriving this one is actually growing even more than one 
one new baby there's a second one here it's absolutely amazing we love it okay